Let's take a look at some stocks moving this Thursday morning. We start things off with Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM. Their shares, they're trading lower today despite beating Wall Street's expectations on revenue and adjusted EPS. The company reported its slowest pace of quarterly revenue growth since 2010. Salesforce also looking to pull back on its cloud spend due to economic uncertainty. I think back to that 2010 measure. That's back mm -hmm. when I was writing research reports about Salesforce uh, in my collegiate days. <laughs> uh, so you're taking us back there quite yeah. a bit here. If there are three themes that I really kind of looked through, um, both leading up to this report and coming out of it, number one, deal scrutiny. Yeah. The company continued to talk about that. Customers scrutinizing every deal, and they're seeing elongated deal cycles. We expected that. Also, continue to look out for what you hear around seat count compression. Mm -hmm. Anytime, and I used to work for one of the cloud solutions company yeah. competitors back in the day, and anytime you saw an economic downturn, and as I did when we were working there, or when I was working there, you were looking across how many of those core portfolio clients were lessening the amount of seats or at least right. um, trimming the amount of seats that they needed necessary in terms of the license tier that they were signing up for. So that another thing. And then interestingly, you were also kind of waiting to see what they would say on AI. If yeah. anything. And they did. Of course. They said they something about to. artificial intelligence CRM, which yes. I mean, for someone who also used to work within the Salesforce product back in my old marketing days, that is, I think, one of the more cumbersome tasks if you have to do a lot of data cleansing within a CRM mm -hmm. platform. So is perhaps, that fun? Perhaps that's where it can, it can <laughs> is it fun? Is I'm it joking, fun? I'm Brad. Man, about as fun I as know. walking know, across know, some know, hot know, coals, yeah. But I mean, look, uh, you know, Mark Benioff has talked about this is supposedly the era of efficiency. We know what that means. And that had to do with those job cuts. And they, you know, there was pushback at the time. Uh, but again, they, the, one of the issues has been slowing sales for Salesforce. So they've been challenged by that. They also have the challenge of activist investors, you know, and when you have activist investors kind of chattering around you or that kind of activity around you, you have to show efficiency, yeah. you know, to appease uh, your investors, right? Absolutely. And for the activist campaigns that they've had to kind of tamp down against, and it's remarkable, the amount of activist campaigns that initiated uh, two quarters ago, I believe right. it was, and that's when the company really had to answer for it on that earnings call. This time, though, it seems even as they're trying to pivot the focus towards what AI can be mm -hmm. in their platform and where within the kind of software and sales uh, and all of the other different modules. It was interesting to hear about the number of clients that they're working with right now and the meetings where they're making multiple sales across modules. And right. so it gives you the inclination to say that the majority of the deals that they're able to net out are at least very comprehensive. It's right. just a matter of where that margin growth can come forward in the future as some analysts turn a little bit more bearish here this yeah. morning. Yeah, and report. but it's, it is interesting because there were some uh, good things that came out in their report. Yeah. They forecasted, you know, their forecast of earnings were better than their prior forecast. You know, so um, revenue is expected to be a little bit better, uh, around eight and a half billion. Uh, but again, not seeing it being rewarded in terms of the pre-market. We'll see what happens when the market actually opens. Right. If it continues to be a thumbs down uh, once the market opens, or if there's some pull back even to the hit that it's taking right now. And we are heading towards a new month on Wall Street, you yeah. know, uh, and sometimes you see new money coming in at the start of a new month. I mean, June 1, uh, we had yesterday in the month lower for May. Uh, Jared, we talked to, uh, he, he talked about that adage, sell in May and go away. That was just the last day of May, yeah. you know, and of course the NASDAQ performed very well for the month, yeah. uh, you know, with that, with the mega cap. Uh, flows, inflows in May. Right, right, absolutely. And as we round out and closed out May, of course, the focus here in June is out of the gate. What is the Fed going to do? Right. And I think that's what the market's really paying attention to here this morning, even as we've gotten a bevy of employment data right. that's come forward. Yeah.